Hi, my name is Andrew. My pronouns are he, him, and I would like to give you a big welcome to uh, my new YouTube channel, Carthritis. Um, it's mostly about, it's mostly going to be about uh, my 1967 bug here, uh, and just kind of what what I go through um, keeping it on the road and improving it. Um, it's been a bit of an ongoing project for me over the last seven or so years, and uh, you know, I finally thought I'd um, start documenting it in more than just crappy Instagram posts. So, um, first off, a little about myself. Um, I'm 28. I live in uh, live and work in northern Colorado with my wife. Um, currently going to school pursuing an accounting degree. Um, kind of boring, but it'll pay the bills and hopefully pay to make this car what I know it can be. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Don't want to get too in depth, but, um, I hope, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you're not freaked out by the gigantic flock of geese that just flew overhead. Um, but it is that time of year, so... I'm going to turn things around now and um, start showing you the car a little bit. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the car. Like I said, it's a 1967. Um, it's been in my family since 1989. My, uh, my dad actually bought it when he realized that uh, having only a motorcycle in Colorado in the middle of winter was a terrible idea. So he got it and drove it pretty regularly for about 10 years. Um, my little brother and I grew up in the back seat of it getting carted around by our mom. Um, and then about, I don't know, 20 years ago or so, um, he took it apart to rebuild the engine and try and get it painted and then uh, decided he would rather you know take my brother and I out and teach us how to ski and how to fish and all of that so the the car ended up sitting for about I don't know 15 years and then uh, hang on And then uh, I decided I needed a car and decided to put it back together. So, yeah, I've, I've been driving this pretty regularly for about seven years now. Um, working, you know, here and there on just improving it and uh, making it a little faster. Um, I do plan to, you know, fully restore it with paint and body and all that stuff eventually, but... Um, for now, I'm just going to continue driving it and enjoying it and doing little things here and there. So, uh, yeah, if, um, yes, here's a not very comprehensive list, but a, a short list of everything I've done to it. Um, first off, it's been lowered at the front about, I don't know, four and a half inches, four inches. Um, it's kind of hard to measure, but it's got drop spindles and a adjustable front beam. It's got a heavy-duty sway bar. Um, I've taken the bumpers off for a couple different reasons. It's got a, uh, you can see in there, disc brake conversion and these lovely, very filthy uh, BRM-style wheels from uh, Flat 4 out of Japan. I just put these on this year and uh, could not be happier. Um, obviously, it's got them at the rear. Bumpers are also gone. At, the bumpers also gone at the rear. Um, and not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of external stuff has changed. I've been putting a bunch of goofy stickers on lately, just because I'm bored. Um, you can tell the the muffler sticks out quite a ways because uh, the header I run isn't 
a hundred percent ideal and everything is just kind of gross and grimy because I've been driving it every day for the last uh, five or six months um, just due to COVID and some other things but the uh, the engine is I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite part but it's one of my favorite parts of uh, the car it is a 1915 cc volkswagen type one engine um, it's got very big heads and a fairly aggressive cam with these dual uh clone webbers from empy they're 44 millimeter idf style carburetors um, runs runs pretty good Runs a little on the warm side, and it drinks gas like you would not believe. But um, it's a really fun engine, really easy to build. It's been almost completely reliable. It's uh, it's actually put this car into the 14s up here at Colorado elevation, which I'm uh, more than proud of. Um, the transmission's pretty much stock, but you know, heavily built stock gears with a uh, earlier style 437 ring and pinion. Um, it's got an external oil filter and cooler, and that's that's kind of about it as far as uh, stuff that anyone would would, would uh, really want to know about. But. Uh, show you a bit of the inside of the car, some of the stuff I've done over the last couple of years to make it a little more of a livable space. All right, so here's uh, here's the interior. Um, I got this lovely uh, VDM motor coach wheel from a very good friend of mine, and I did a horrible job restoring it. Um, and painting it black so that's that's going to be one of the things we go through uh, in the future on this channel um, I've got this awesome gauge pod here so I can keep an eye on things in the engine got my tack with the shift light for uh, when I used to drag race this pretty regularly and I've got my Berg shifter that I've been working on making a boot for. Like I was saying, here's my uh, Gene Berg shifter with my, uh, this is the second version of a shift boot that I've been trying to make for it. Uh, definitely in the prototyping stage, but uh, does the job. Looks looks neat, looks kind of different. Um, everything else is pretty much stock. The gas pedal isn't, but that's not really anything that needs to be gone into detail with. Um, about two years ago, I, uh, went through and recovered the seats in stock style black covers and, uh, redid the headliner. It actually turned out a lot better than I expected for never having done anything like that. Um, also replaced the door cards and redid the carpet back behind the rear seat. Um, so yeah, that's about it just really quick gonna show you what it sounds like so give me just a moment So, anyways, that's uh, that's about all I've got for you today. Um, and unfortunately, because it's now less than a week from Christmas, I'm actually going to be putting this up for the rest of the winter. Um, just it's not very good in the snow and not very practical as a daily. Um, and it it definitely needs some time off for uh, a little preventative maintenance, a little love, but. Um, 
hopefully hopefully I'll get to show you that here in the next uh, next few months and then we'll take things from there but um, hope you all enjoyed if uh, if you did and if you want to um, keep coming on this journey with us then hit that uh, hit that bell and subscribe and uh, hopefully see you later thank you and have a lovely day.